Welcome back to Parent's Guide to Winning Survival Minecraft. Welcome to the nether. And in this, in this episode, we're going to go about mining in the nether. So we, in the last episode, we kind of walked around. We were lucky. We found our um, nether fortress, which I can't believe. Uh, normally, you don't have that type of luck. I mean, that's like a 5% chance that you're going to find nether that close to... Sorry, guys, I'm going to have to... We're going to have to take care of you. You all are a nuisance. Usually when I come into the nether, the first thing I'm going to do is set up... Like I said, I usually walk around just because... Um, it's nice to see what's around and, and what I may have uh, to deal with. Normally I don't find an, a nether fortress like we did last episode. That's just crazy. One of the first things I'm trying to do is set up a, a mine so that I can get nether, uh, ancient debris, which I can turn into netherite. The question is, is why do we need netherite? The answer is it will increase the damage your weapons can do. It w When you put it on armor, it will uh, help with knockback. It takes away all the knockback, so when you get shot by an arrow, you don't get knocked back. You pretty much continue on. When we face the Ender Dragon, his blast won't knock you all over the place. It also gives your tools fire resistance. I can take my tools, drop it in lava, and it will float on top of the lava, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, it's just a very valuable tool, and ancient debris is very rare. Much more rare than diamonds, and much harder to get, and therefore it has a lot of value just because it is so hard to get. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start thinking about mining down to it. We're kind of in the low point. I know over here is lava. So we need to get down to level 15. For diamonds, it's level 11. For netherite, it's most common at level 15. So we don't wanna go that way. We don't wanna have to go through all that lava. So we're going to try to mine down and see if we can find a route down to that low level. And when I'm mining, the way to do this, man, efficiency with nether, nether rack here is just really fast. So you got to be kind of careful <laughs> with your uh, really nice pickaxe when you go down. I go stair step in this place. The reason I go uh, stair step is like that could drop us down into lava at any point in time and okay this is ancient debris ancient debris comes in sets of one and two and we found a two and sometimes three this is a good start to our addition so that's two pieces of ancient debris you need four to make a piece of netherite you need uh so I need to get four ancient debris to get one piece of netherite. Oops, I did not want to do that. Uh, which again, a good find. Like I said, it spawns between one and three when you find it. Sometimes you have to like look around and see if you can find it. You can see lava. Is that lava? No, it's just the those those little red things that come around. That tells you kind of what biome you're in. It took me a while to figure this out. And like there, there is. Uh, uh, death. That's that lava pit we were seeing. So this is a no-go zone. Let's just go ahead and go back and we'll try a different direction because that direction didn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up and let's let's kill this hoglin. Die. Take his loot and uh, let's go in this direction and see if we have better luck. Uh, we may have to like travel and try to find some space if this doesn't work. So I know I can't go that way. I know there's lava lake over that way. Maybe this way doesn't have a lava lake. I guess we'll find out when we go down. So I'm going to continue to uh, work my way down. Like I said, we we got to find a lot of netherite. And when you think about it, I've got four pieces of armor. i got three or four tools and a sword. And we're also want to make one of those uh, devices that allow us to get pretty much anywhere, and all of that stuff. Like this is 
I'm gonna go ahead and break that and put, replace that with a block. This stuff is just a um, magma block. They just, you do damage on it. You, if you crouch, you can go over it without taking damage. But since we're working our way down, we're gonna uh, just try to paper it over. There's blackstone. I like blackstone. It makes for a really nice, uh, for me, it makes a really nice decorative block when you start building up, but for now, I'm not gonna worry about collecting it. There'll be plenty of it when we start getting down here. If we can make it to the bottom and start mining. Um, magma blocks, this usually means there's lava nearby, so you gotta really be careful when you start seeing these magma blocks. So far, we've made it down pretty well. We might be able to make it all the way down to the bottom in this direction. I don't know, we'll see. But you always have to be worried about lava. Lava in the nether will be in like a single block, but it flows like water, so it can very quickly overwhelm you. And uh, yeah, which means death. Again, this is a lot of times why I really like to have uh, fire protection when I come down here. Um, this is also why I don't mind straight down, because if we run into issues, here is, you can get these blocks right here. You can get uh, gold nuggets. So this is becomes with a fortune pickaxe. This becomes a very quick way to <laughs> to get gold. It's much faster than mining gold in the overworld, actually, uh, which we can then use to trade with the piglins if we want up here, uh, since they're right above us. We can go and convert all that to gold and trade and, and get some different blocks. Some of which are good. Some of which aren't very useful. Uh, the trading with the piglins for speed runners that becomes a, a way to get. Ender pearls, which is something else we're going to need if we win, but we'll find a different way to get ender pearls rather than trading. A little the way that's, uh, I think, is just a little bit easier, and we've already got everything that we need to, to make those trades. Okay, we're working our way down. One of the things that we find down here is there's going to be a ton of gravel, and I did not bring a shovel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a shovel real quick here. Go ahead, and put that down. Make some sticks. Now I can make a shovel. Yeah, that'll that'll be handy. And I left the axe, so we're just gonna break this by hand. Just no big deal. But yeah, there's a lot of gravel as you start mining down, and so it's really handy to have a shovel. Uh, ideally, I would probably get one enchanted with efficiency four eventually. I don't have that right now, but that's okay. And oh, there's bedrock. So if I'm gonna guess. Yeah, just gonna head before I got. So this is level five in the Nether, <laughs> much like it is in the Overworld. Go ahead and use this Nether rack here. So that's level five. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Well, we got lucky here, to be honest. And this will be the level at which we will begin our our mining operations. So generally I'll just kind of at the bottom of the steps a lot of times I will you know start being very careful and kind of mining out a section so that I can set up as my base shop and generally what I do in this area is much like what I do down the mines I might put like a chest here in fact I, I will put a chest here uh, give me my where my crafting table go and that way I can kind of dump a bunch of this stuff that I that I don't need so let me go ahead and use my wood up go ahead and take this make some chests the circle gives us chests two chests that's a good start let me go ahead and knock that out here put that in and now I can dump like this nether rack gravel uh, blackstone gonna need that I'm not gonna need these gold nuggets don't need the crimson fungus <laughs> don't need this don't need the magma blocks I said so this just becomes kind of a, a dumping ground for stuff I'm gonna hold on to my ancient debris just because I'm paranoid and if I'm playing in a team world someone can actually take it so I tend to want to hold on to that stuff more than I probably should 
Now we're in pretty much a, a good position. We're not going to need torches anymore. I'm going to carry them with me because you don't need torches in this world. You can just mine infinitely. And so I'm going to use the same principles I use above ground. I'm going to create a mine shaft and we'll kind of work our way over and down. And mining in the nether is a lot more dangerous than the overworld because of these uh, blocks that will occur. But at the same time, it is a lot faster because you just mine instantly and you just kind of walk along. And what you're looking for is ancient debris and this stuff right here. These blocks right here will give you nether quartz. So these nether quartz blocks. And the reason you want to mine this nether quartz whenever you find it is it gives you a lot of experience, <laughs> which will do what? It will heal our pickaxe. And now we kind of enter the part of the game that is uh, once again a very grinding element. If you want to get sometimes run into these little passageways down here like cave systems generally no reason to go down them I don't think I've ever found ancient debris in those segments and so we go and search for ancient debris and when you can only get oh, there's your lava block see how fast it it goes so generally what happens is that it will come down either from the ceiling or one of the sides it'll flow very quickly all I do is block it put a block in front to stop the flow and then I block it off it goes away and I can continue mining but I got to be very aware of those because uh, you'll always come across those little blocks and we found some more ancient debris sweet so that gives me three that gives me four that gives me enough to make one piece of netherite <laughs> so this can take a, a really long time I won't be honest. And if you have kids and you're trying to make, they're going to want netherite armor as well. So you're going to spend a lot of time trying to uh, find ancient debris. But I'm going to go ahead and, and, and mine this out. Let's, you know, usually I'll go a long way on one shaft just because. I mean, there's no reason you're not, like, collecting really anything. I mean, the only thing you really collect is gold and the nether quartz. So, and the nether quartz is nice because it compresses pretty easily. You can make it into uh, blocks of quartz, and you can carry it. Uh, a lot of people like the A lot of the kids will like quartz because it's a white block for whatever reason. They tend to like white. Here's one of these little passageways. I'm just not going to bother with it because generally... The only thing there is death. Um, you can find some nether quartz a lot of times easily there, but I'm going to find enough just going through here and mining this out. So I'm going to go ahead and mine this out, and let's, let's see what we find. One more note. These little passageways can spawn... All kinds of things that are will attack you potentially I will generally block them off for that reason um, the other thing is I always mine that nether rack whenever I see it because that's the only way I'm gonna keep my pickaxe from being used because I'm going to be mining a ton of this nether rack and it just it'll wear out your pickaxe pretty quickly but generally there's enough of this to heal your pickaxe and you'll probably pick up some levels in the process um, one of the strategies I've also used is to just mine until my pickaxe is down and then come and pick this up on the way back out to regenerate the the pickaxe but as you can see my pickaxe is now fully healed and I can continue to uh, mine again at full strength so I'm gonna get back here and, and kind of do a mine run and let's see what we can find. Hey, more. We've been pretty lucky. I mean, a lot of times when I do this, if I find 
you know, four or five pieces in one really long mine shaft. I'll be honest, that's a pretty good find. I mean, sometimes you'll go through and you'll find a bunch. Sometimes you'll mine one of these shafts and, and not find any. You know, it's pretty rare that I don't find any, but you know, there might be times when I find one. And I, I mine these. <laughs> These shafts get pretty long because there's just, you know, you're, you're not really collecting anything. You're just kind of looking for ancient debris. Oh my goodness, there's some more here. This is crazy. Uh, this has been a good luck world so far. Like I said, I generally don't find this much off the bat. I mean, how much do I have now? I've got eight. I've got enough for two things. So one of the things we'll probably do is uh, continue collecting this. found some more. Wow. This has been pretty pretty lucky finds here. Uh yeah. You never know when uh you're going to fall. <laughs> Yeah, good thing I didn't fall into, like, lava there. Wow. That can happen. You gotta always be careful. The nether is a very dangerous place, as you can see. Fortunately, this time it didn't end my death. Um, could have very easily have ended that way. And there's a gas down here somewhere. I can hear it, but I don't really want to deal with it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and build back up and see if we can find where we come in at. Right there. Always got to be careful in the net. There's always holes. There's always things that will kill you. I mean, it's just the way of the nether. The way of the nether. Oops. Go ahead and build my pathway here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this over here while I'm here. Another pickaxe. It's instantly healed, and now we'll start seeing real gains and levels. When I came down, I think I was level 17. Now I'm on level, what, 22? Yeah, I'll probably be level 23 by the time I mine all this. Uh, so this becomes a really good way to get levels as well. Uh, for things that aren't that you don't have up top, you can come down here and mine and very quickly get... Levels, another good way to mine and get levels. As you go, this is how I will come down a lot of times get levels because you can never have enough netherite, especially when you're playing with your kids because there's just no way to, to uh, get that much netherite easily. You're just going to have to uh, spend a lot of time down here mining. Like I said, on a good run, if I find four or five pieces of netherite, that's a that's a good day. See there's piglins. There can be other things down here that can they can hurt us. But man, there's lava. Block it off. Get rid of the block. Back to mining. And there's another one right there. That's not good. Oh, sometimes you miss. That time I missed. And let's continue mining a little bit further. <laughs> And another piece. Wow. There's a single. Is there another one here? Grab that. That looks like it's a single. I said, usually I try to break around it, see if I can find another one, but that one's just a single. Uh, you can find them in packs of three, too, so it's not just duels or singles. Packs of three are not super common. Uh, usually it's in one and twos. So now I'm at 10. That's still a pretty good. That's a, This has been a pretty good run. I, I won't lie. A lot of times, like I said, 2 to 4 is that number. I'm going to continue on. more 
ancient debris. Alright. Is it just a one third? Well, that's kind of unlucky. But I'm not going to complain because we've found multiple ones. I know this has been kind of boring, but mainly this was just kind of to show you how long these get. Let's have some fun with this end here right, real quick. There is an alternate method to mine. Uh, if you do this method, I would do it in a separate part of your mine just because of how <laughs> damaging it is. But I'm going to do it at the... Wow, another piece. And there's a double here. Nice. Rock and roll. I'm going to do it here at the end of kind of this mine segment I just did here. Uh, there is an alternate way, and that is to use TNT to blow up an area and expose a lot of uh, thing. One of the things I brought with me is some white wool. In between episodes, I went and got some some white wool, which will allow me to do what? Make beds. What did we talk about last time that you can that can blow stuff up in the Nether, and that is beds. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and make a bed here. Ooh. I want that wood back. Give me the wood. Get rid of all that. Okay. So I made a bed. I'm going to come over here and mine just a little bit more because I don't want to destroy my crafting table <laughs> in this process. Go ahead and eat. So what I can do is I can put a bed down. And then I can come back here, and I can put um, this in the way. And if I tap the bed, I don't remember how far you, close you have to be to, to tap the bed. Oops, that was not what I wanted. Um, I think my... Boom! It uh, explodes. And it uh, creates a pretty big hole in the, <laughs> in the world. Uh, it can be a very dangerous way because lava is going to be flowing everywhere. But, look at that ancient debris. This is probably the most efficient way to actually mine. It's also just tremendously dangerous, which is why I, uh, I generally don't mine this way. Because I'm... Yeah, see, that was that one block of lava. It generated this whole pool down here. This is just a very... To me, it's a very dangerous way to mine, but it is a more effective way. If you're wanting to save time, you can uh, go ahead and, and, <laughs> and use beds. If you're going to use beds like this, I would uh, do it kind of the way I did, which is carry the components to make beds and not necessarily carry a bunch of beds because they'll take up a lot of inventory spots and there's really no reason to have all that inventory spots taken up you can just bring the components to make bed which is wood and wool and make it when you're down here when you're down here though be very careful like what i just did there mining up because um i really like blackstone so i'm gonna throw that out and collect some more blackstone so i've created one now let's come back over here let's make another bed What I'll generally do is go a little further. Give myself a little bit of room. Oh, look. Another rack. Let's go ahead and mine this real quick. Um, okay. Go ahead and close this up. bed down, back up, put a block down, two blocks, hit it, and we get an explosion. We take a little bit of damage, but it's not much. Uh, you can use your sword to put out these fires, by the way. And we kind of look and see what we exposed. That stuff up there is basalt. We're probably in a basalt area, which is one of the more dangerous spots to be in. We'll go ahead and do this. 
always good experience and it's a fun block to use for building because it is one of the few white blocks in the game like pure white so if you want to make a modern house you can make a modern house come back over here I'm gonna go ahead and I've got enough wool for what I'm just gonna make two more beds one bed two beds grab my crafting table while I'm here. Like I said, you get a ton of this nether rack, so I generally don't keep it around. I will take the table back, though. Let's go ahead and blow up two more, see if we can find uh, a couple more pieces. Because this is kind of a, I'll be honest, when you have kids, this is a fun way to mine for it. Because you can set them up, they can blow it up, and you know, it, it's it's a, it's a pretty nice little explosive way to uh, to get it. And like I said, you'll find it a little bit quicker than you'll find it with um, just the mining technique. And with kids, the mining technique is is really boring. So this becomes kind of a a fun way to go about trying to collect another right or another. I mean, ancient debris. Is there any ancient debris here? No, no ancient debris. You know, we could mine that if we want, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's go make a little bit further. But this is a good reason to collect, say, wool and have a wool farm. Because if you can get a bunch of wool, you can uh, come down here with a bunch of beds. Oh, man, all this stupid. You can see the shovel's really handy thing to have down here. Let me get past all this stupid gravel. Uh, go a little bit further. We'll, we'll try one more bed and see if we can get a little more ancient debris. Oh, that is a magma cube. These things are hecka dangerous because very much like the um, the cubes up in the above world, these guys break into smaller ones. And all of them can do a lot of damage. So, yeah, you gotta be really careful about magma cubes. Because, like, we have slime blocks in the overworld, but they don't do any damage. These guys do a ton of damage. If you come across them, generally run. If you can get them into a confined space like this, it's a little better because they can't gang up on you. But when these things break up and gang up on you, I mean, you can see it does a half heart damage. These guys can do a ton of damage quickly. Yeah, look how many of these things spawn. Because they break down to smaller pieces and they will do a lot of damage and very quickly. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, there's another magma cube. Let's just get out of here. This is dangerous. I don't want to have to deal with it. I will pick up the magma cream though. So this magma cream, you can use it for potions. It's a handy block to just kind of have around. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Let's maybe we'll come back here and blow up this section back here. <laughs> so I'm gonna blow up like right here. We'll put it right there. We'll go ahead and put a couple pieces in between. Up, nope, I'm too far away. Get a little closer. Boom, and we blow it up. So this is kind of a fun way to do it. Kids really love to blow stuff up, so. This can be a, a really good way to look for ancient debris. Uh, we didn't find any ancient debris. So one of them found ancient debris. <laughs> but hey, I said it's not a very common thing. It's been it's surprising that we were able to find what? How many did we find? 14 blocks of it already? That's incredible. That's enough to uh, put netherite on three things. So that's a, that's a pretty good find. And I'm going to... And there's, look at those things, man, those things. Oh my god, there's three of them? This is not good. Where should we have knockback? Let's see if I can knock these guys back. If I can break this guy. Come on, run. Oh! This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, 
Oh, that was really dangerous. I'm not going to lie. That was really dangerous. Let me just go ahead and block this off. They must have spawned in there. Yeah, no, we're not going to fight that. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's get out of there. <laughs> Woo. That is very dangerous. Fortunately, I was able to get out of the lava that I fell into. If I had stayed in the lava and had to fight those guys. This is the other reason you want to get uh, netherite armor. Because those guys will knock you. It, once you get netherite armor, they don't really knock you back. And so it's a little bit easier to escape those situations. But it can be, uh, it can be a little harrowing. Those guys are really dangerous. And I really don't recommend. If you can avoid them, avoid them. I've been playing this for a little bit while, so I'm a little bit better at uh, fighting them off. But yeah, you don't want to you don't want to fight them if you don't have to. But I am going to take this XP, get my armor back up. See now my armor's fully healed. Yeah, you know, I should probably be wearing one of these helmets instead of the gold helmet uh, while I'm down here. And then I'll give us another rack. Let's go ahead and make that into blocks. And uh, we can just continue heading back out. Okay, well at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this episode here as I'm running back out. Uh, this becomes the, the new grind you're going to need. Uh, let me say four armor. You're going to want to put it on your pickaxe. You're probably going to want to put it on your axe. You're probably going to want to put it on a shovel. You're probably going to want to put it on your sword. That's eight things. And eight times four is what? 32? So you're going to need at least 32 pieces of ancient debris to enchant all that. And that's, you know, if you're only getting three or four pieces per run, which is pretty normal, um, it can take a, a little while to, to do this part of the game. Uh, but your kids are going <laughs> to... Uh, trust me, your kids are going to want it. They're going to be like, why do you have it? I don't. And uh, You're just going to have to come down here and, and, and really kind of grind out the uh, this part of the game. Much like the earlier parts of the game when you're trying to get the wood, to get the experience, to get the uh, the, the nice armor. It's the same thing here. you got to go through the same process if you want to get netherite armor. And, you know, the kids, they love the netherite armor. Uh, it's, just, it's just the way of it. It's the best armor. Uh, it's cool it looks cool and it's something that they probably have a hard time getting on their own especially younger kids it's just so hard to uh, come down here and find that much netherite without some element of I have to do this over and over again either you're gonna have to get the wool to make all the beds you're gonna have to come and create these giant mine shafts all of this stuff takes a lot of time and it can be really challenging. One thing I can you can do is what I just did there is mine something, and when the XP comes to you, go over to your sword if it needs to be healed. <laughs> uh, I'll do that with my shovel. Once I get in a, a shovel with mending on it, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll generally do that at some point. Go through and uh, try to heal them while I'm playing the game, or. There's, there's other ways to, you can get potions of healing at some point as well. So there's good ways to heal all of your stuff. But at that point, I'm going to wrap up this episode. I'm going to try to get some more ancient debris between now and the next episode, which means I'm going to have to do a, a bunch of mining, and then we'll go ahead and, and, and get our stuff, turn our stuff into netherite, and then we'll take on the nether fortress that we found really quickly when we got down here. So with that, I'm going to sign off here. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and we will uh, you'll be notified when uh, more content is created and you can check out more of our content in the future. Ow. And there's lava. And I'm in lava. That's a bummer. Hopefully I won't die between now and the next time you see me. And as always, have a great day if you want to.